Habakkuk chapter 3, technology fails again. You only knew. What we're looking at, God is the God of history. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet upon Shiganoth. That's a musical instrument. What we're looking at is a psalm of Habakkuk. Another psalm outside the book of Psalms. This is to be sung on a musical instrument. Now, I'll spare you all. I will not sing it. O Lord, I have heard thy speech. And can you imagine what the voice of God is? would sound like there are places in the Bible that says it sounds like a mighty rushing water a river a holy sinless and was afraid the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom O Lord revive thy work in the midst of the years the years of what the destruction that's coming the destruction we're going to see the destruction of Jerusalem, and we're going to see the destruction of the Antichrist coming. Lord, do a rework, rework, revive. Make something come out of it. In the midst of the years, tribulation is going to be seven years. Make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Now, wrath comes upon sin, evil. But Lord, Habakkuk is saying, even your wrath, the time of Jacob's trouble, the time when Nebuchadnezzar comes into Babylon, Lord, please remember mercy. And when you go through hard and troubling times in your walks, say, Lord, mercy. I deserve it, but Lord, please, a little mercy. God came from Teman. Now we're looking at the second advent. And the Holy One from Mount Paran, Selah, musical rest, found in Psalm. Selah is also a reference to a, trip, a, a second advent passage. Selah is also a city down south by the Dead Sea, where we believe that the Jews, the Jews will run to from the Antichrist. His glory covered the heavens, plural. The earth was full of his praise. The earth, not just Palestine, the entire earth, and that has not happened ever on the earth yet. Maybe during Adam and Eve, but we don't know how long that God made them and created them, and then they fell. There's coming a time when Jesus Christ sits on David's throne. The entire earth will be full of the praise of Jesus Christ. Not yet. His brightness, a holy, righteous, without sin light that Paul said it was beyond the noonday sun. A light that we've never seen and will not see until we get to New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem, that light will, is forever. There's no darkness. It comes from God. And those stones, those gems that are the foundation of New Jerusalem will just make a beautiful rainbow beyond all rainbows. That even in Revelation 4, with Satan in heaven, Job 1 and 2, there is a rainbow that is circling God's throne, not a bow, circling. A holy prism a bright color of God and it's just gonna blow our eyeballs out and we'll dwell in that light forever he had horns symbol of strength and power coming out of his hand there was a and there was the hiding of his power before him Went the past the pestilence. They're gonna die before the Lord Jesus Christ. Fire is issued out. Anger and burning coals went forth at his feet. So what does Satan do to imitate that? You got a bunch of people called firework walkers. That's an imitation of Jesus Christ. 
He stood. He's sitting now. He will stand. And measure the earth. Took a look at the earth and broke it down. Jews, sheep, and goats. He beheld and drove asunder the nations. There's the nation judgment. The sheep and the goats. Matthew 25. And the everlasting mountains were scattered, gone. The perpetual hills did bow. His ways are everlasting. When Jesus Christ comes, he's flattening this earth. He's raising the valleys. There will be only one mountain that will be in Jerusalem. Where the Lord Jesus Christ is, Mount Zion. Everything else will be flat as everyone thought the earth will be. Or was. I saw the tents of cushion and affliction. And the curtains of the land of Midian did tremble. This is their dwelling places. Men are going to have tents and houses in the tribulation. They're going to have them in the time when Nebuchadnezzar comes. They're going to just live like they did. Didn't Jesus say, you know, in Lot's time, they gave him the marriage, they gave the marriage, they shop, they bought. Time of Noah, they were given the marriage, they shop, they bought, they lived. Life goes on. Was the Lord displeased against the river? I don't know. Was thy anger against the river? It's plural. Was thy wrath against the sea? That thou did ride upon thy horses? That's us, Christians, and thy chariots of salvation. That's Elijah saw horses of fire or chariots of fire or something. These are chariots of salvation with us in them. We're not in wrath. We're not in fire. We're in salvation. We're in Christ Jesus. We're in the gospel. The bowl was made quite naked, wood or steel. And there it is. It's not dressed up. It's not fancy. According to the oaths of the tribes, even thy word, like into the bowl, sila, rest. Thou did cleave the earth with river, some kind of earthquake. Sometimes the earth crack it open. The mountains saw thee, and they trembled. Earthquake, earthquakening. The overflow of the water passed by. The quake in the mountain is going to cause rivers to go crazy. The deep uttered her voice, the waters of Genesis 1, and lifted up his hands on high. Praised God. The sun and moon stood still in their habitation. Joshua 10, 12, and 13. They're not going to move. At the light of thine arrows they went, and the shining of thy glittering spear. Kind of meteorites, shooting stars. Thou did march through the land of indignation. It's where the Antichrist is. It's where people are against God, against the Jews. The king's highway. Thou did thresh the heathen in anger. The tribulation period is not a time of the heathen getting saved. It's Jacob's trouble. The heathen will be damned unless they help the Jews. And they don't even know they're doing it. Thou went forth for salvation of thy people. John 1, the Jews. Even for salvation with thine anointed, the Jews. Thou woundest the head out of the house of the wicked. The Antichrist receives a deadly wound. Mark 12, 4, Revelation 13, 3. Psalm 68, 21. 1, 10, 6, Isaiah 1, 6. There are men in the Bible who have received deadly head wounds. Some of them, notice, were done by a rock or a stone. The Bible forecasts and predicts and prophesies 
the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the movements and activities of Satan, and they will come to pass. As the 48 prophecies of the first advent of the Lord Jesus Christ, there are yet more prophecies and more prophecies of the second coming, of the tribulation, of the millennium, of eternal. Thou didst strike through with his staves, that's a wooden pole, the head of his villages. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me, a big uh, fury windstorm. God spoke to Job of a whirlwind. Their rejoicing was to devour the poor secretly. If you ain't got the mark, you're poor. That would be Jews. They can't receive the mark, according to the law. Without the mark, try to buy anything. Try to make a living without the mark. Try to bring home a paycheck. There will be no welfare. The welfare you'll get by receiving the mark. Thou didst walk through the sea with thy horses. The cavalry of Christians behind them. Through the heap of great waters. Genesis 1. When I heard, my belly trembled. It brought Habakkuk into nervousness. The first reaction that a stomach doctor told me was, when you fear, it goes to your intestines. That's exactly what happened. When he heard God's voice, when he heard what God told him, oh, man, he got an upset stomach. Turned inside. My lips quivered at the voice of God. Rottenness entered into my bones. Man, his bones just couldn't even stand up. He felt brittle. And I trembled in myself. He's very nervous. That I might rest in a day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. That's us. That's also the Antichrist. I mean, yeah, excuse me. That's also Nebuchadnezzar coming into Jerusalem. It's also the Antichrist coming with his troops to defeat Israel and Palestine. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, no figs. Jesus cursed the fig tree, and it withered up and died. Neither shall fruit be in the vines, no grapes, no wine. The labor of the olives shall fail, no olives, no olive oil for anointing. The field, this was all done by the canker worm, the locust, you know, remember Joe? They were all, and the fields shall yield no meat, no oats, no barley, no grain. The fields shall yield no meat. Uh, the fields shall yield, that's no oats, no barley, no wheat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold. No sheep, no lambs, no ewes. There shall be no herd in the stalls. No cows, no bulls, no asses. Nothing. Everything is totally wiped out, and yet I will rejoice in the Lord. That's a hard saying. When you lost everything like Job did, and the Bible records twice that he praised God and gave God the glory and did not sin with his lips. The Jews are going to lose everything. And in Sela Petra, they're going to get the Lord. And that will be their praise. That will be their salvation when he comes on horseback. You can have everything else. Satan has that. I will joy in God of my salvation. When you die, you better not have junk. The only thing you better have when you die is you better have God's salvation. And nothing else. Because you can't take anything else with you. Job said, naked I, naked I came in this world and naked I should go out. Only thing Job had when he went out was he had the fellowship and the relationship with God. That's it. When I go out of this world, the only thing I got is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the blood of his son that cleansed me from all my sins. That's it. 
That's why you got to make a will out. You got to tell people where your junk goes because it don't go with you. The Lord God is my strength. Isn't figs, grapes, olives, wheat, barley, sheep meat, beef? Isn't that strength? Doesn't that bring you strength? When you ain't got that anymore and you're starving to death, and you can't even eat your son because there is no son. The only thing left is you got dubs dung. And you may not even have that. When you're dying of no food and no water. You better have the strength of God. That's all I can tell you. The strength of God will get you from this life to eternal life. Jesus wrought victory over the grave. He will make my feet like hinds feet. David spoke of this. Psalms 18, 2 Samuel 22. Hinds feet. They got great feet to go across rocky mountains. And yet they still have a foundation. They still have a footing. He will make me to walk upon my high places. To the chief singer on my string instruments and close the Habakkuk. The last chapter of Habakkuk, he gives God the praise by singing a hymn. And he hands this chapter, writes it down, he hands it to his singer, says, Here, play me a melody. Make a joyful noise in the Lord and let you sing from the heart. 